By now you've probably seen the highly anticipated live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast, and while the movie still captures much of the Disney magic of the original, they've made a few key alterations that bring a little something there that wasn't there before. So join us as we dive into the biggest changes to this tale as old as time. In the original animation, details of the Enchantress's spell are kind of brushed over. We're never given explanations of why the villagers suddenly forgot about the prince and his castle, for example, despite it being just a quick horse ride away. <laughs> or why Belle's provincial town is enjoying summer when the castle is surrounded by snow. In the live action, we're given answers straight away. The reason? All memory of the prince and his castle were wiped from the villagers' minds. And the snow? Well, it's magic, of course. Giving the original a much-needed proactive princess boost, the live-action movie sees Belle as the inventor rather than her papa. So she can continue to read and spend time doing the things she loves, Belle invents the washing machine, meaning she doesn't have to spend all day cleaning clothes. Of course, the villagers consider her a threat and punish her by throwing her laundry in the mud. Nice. A small but necessary addition was made to the scene in which Belle offers up her freedom to save her father. She physically pushes him out of the prison cell. Emma Watson's Belle knows that her father would not let her give up her life to save him, so when the Beast opens up the cell so they can say their goodbyes, another change from the original, she hugs Maurice and then pushes him out. This small move makes the characters seem way less passive. Maurice less helpless and Belle more fearless. You didn't even let me say goodbye. I'll never see him again. Okay, so guess sounds crazy old Maurice line is gone. Crazy old Maurice. It's no longer acceptable to jive a senior citizen for their mental stability, after all. Instead, before shipping him off to an asylum, 2017's Gaston tries to kill Belle's father by tying him to a tree in the middle of the forest and leaving him there for dead. Talk about dramatic. In the original animation, what happened to Belle's mother, or the Beast's mother, is never explained. The live action, however, not only clears this up, but creates a whole extra plot point that helps to bond the characters together. They both lost their mothers at a really young age. Belle lost her mother as a baby to the plague while they were living in Paris. And it's implied that the Beast's mother died of sickness too. He was raised by his father, who twisted his soul into something mean and shallow, explaining exactly how the Beast ended up as a narcissistic idiot. During the end battle scene in the original movie, all we really wanted to know was, were all these household items once real people too? Have they all been sacrificed for the greater good? What's the deal here? Well, we finally got our answer. During one scene, Belle picks up a hairbrush and asks it, What's your name? Lumiere and Cogsworth reply with major side eye and answer with, That is a hairbrush. Duh. As the Enchantress's spell develops, and the Beast's return to human form becomes less likely, parts of the castle start to crumble away, along with the Beast's hopes, with every falling petal. Not only is this a heartbreaking metaphor, but it makes the end battle far more precarious. Like your Disney sprinkled with a little historical accuracy? Then you'll love the reboot. All the outfits have been revamped to reflect the mode of dress in 18th century France. This movie has brocade, caged skirts, and ridiculous wigs galore. In fact, everyone other than Belle, who's going against the grain in her denim dress, is bang on trend. Not only were all the old classics in this movie, but we got four new songs, Aria, Evermore, Day in the Sun, and How Does a Moment Last Forever, which was performed by Beauty and the Beast's one and only soundtrack queen, Celine Dion, plus lyrical additions to every original track too. Lines that have been cut from the 1991 version for being too edgy were scooped from the ether and slotted back in. Talk about a marvelous medley. Last but not least, the Enchantress had a much bigger role in the updated movie. After placing the curse on the Beast, she takes on another form and retreats to the forest where she saves Maurice after Gaston leaves him for dead. Then, at the end of the movie, she returns to the castle to break her spell. And they all lived happily ever after. 